So in this short video, I want to quickly walk through patching a VHD file, an offline VHD or WIM file. Uh, this can be useful for a number of reasons. A VHD, for example, could be our source for creating new virtual machines. So if I can keep that source VHD file, that template patched, when I deploy it, those VMs already have all the patches applied. Likewise for a WIM file, that could be used for installing physical machines, actually as the installation source, or it could be the source for features on demand. For example, in group policy, I can specify a location for where things like the .NET Framework 3.5, if components get corrupted, where those Windows 8 and Windows 2012 operating systems get those updates from. By default, it's Windows Update on the internet, but I could specify a WIM file on my local network. So again, I wanna keep all the latest patches applied to that. Now to get the patches, we can just use the Microsoft Update Catalog, and you can search for things like Windows Server 2012 updates. Another thing you could search for is by the Knowledge Base article number, and you can basically add these to your shopping cart of patches, and just select a bunch, go to the basket, and then download them. And when it downloads, what it will actually do is it will give you a folder with a bunch of updates in. So they are actually about 32 I've got so far, but I've created a smaller version because I can use these to demo this really quickly. Now to apply these patches, you can do it one at a time. You can use the DISM command to just apply a package to a WIM or a VHD file by mounting that WIM or VHD. But what I wanted to do is create a little PowerShell script to do it all for us. So this PowerShell script I've done as a function. It's called install patch. And I save it as a PSM1 file, a module, which means you have to save it in your documents file. It has to be saved in folder Windows PowerShell in a folder called modules. And the folder name has to match the name of the PSM1 file. So my module is PSM1 install dash patch, so my folder is install dash patch. So the code is actually pretty simple. I've got some basic help information or a little synopsis. You pass it two parameters, the VHD or the WIM file, and if it's a WIM file, you have to pass the index number as well. And the, the root folder for the patches, it will go and search for all of them. Here's some examples of the formats, so it's a VHD, VHDX file, or a WIM file with the index number, then the location of where you download the updates to. So I do a quick search, is it a VHD or not? Does it contain text VHD? If it's a VHD, I check, can I connect to it? And then I mount it. And then I go through all of the Microsoft virtual disks. It's mounted, it's attached this VHD. And the one that is not system reserved, I save that as the update drive. Then I add a trailing slash. So that would be like I colon slash would be the update path. If it's a WIM file, I split it into the basically the folder name part and the drive. So that would be drive colon path and then the index number. And then I mount it as C colon slash wind mount. If it doesn't exist, I'm gonna create it. Then I mount the WIM. So I've now either got a WIM mounted or the VHD is now mounted. Then I just recurse that folder with all the um, patches you saved in it, looking for MSU or CAP files. And if each of them, I use the DSI, DISM command for that path, either the VHD mounted folder, I, I colon slash, or the mounted folder for the WIM file, C colon slash WIM mount. And I add that package and I invoke that command. Then if it was a service pack, I clean up the files and then we dismount it. So it's actually very, very simple what it's doing, but it just does the work for you. So to show you that, an example, if I go back through my history, so I can actually, it's a module. So let's say I remove it. I can import that module because I saved it. And then let's take a VHDX file first. So I'm passing the name of my VHDX file. So my VHDX file is over here, G colon slash temp, my VHDX. And I'm passing it on my updates. So basically it's mounting it. So if I quickly look, I'll see it's mounted a H and an I. It's applying each of those packages, the patches from it. There was no cleanup to do because it wasn't a service pack. And now they've gone again, so it dismounted it. So that was it, that was patching a VHD file. For a WIM file, 
So it's D sources in sort of WIMP. The same thing. So it's going to have to mount firstly that WIM file. It's going to mount the fourth image. And then we're going to go and apply the patches. So you can see it's mounted it. Now it's going to apply the patches the same as it did before. Adding the patch. And again, the patches I chose are very small ones. Now, some of the patches are 150 megs, so they'll take a lot longer, but I'm gonna actually just show it quickly in the demo. So it will apply it. Now it's gonna do this mount with the commit. So it's just gonna commit those and unmount it. And that's it. I mean, basically it's done. And like I say, this, this tool, you could run individual parts of this code if you wanted to by selecting them and then just do the run, that portion of it. You could add the .NET framework um, using the DISM tool or even just server manager, saving the image, and that's it. So this is really just an easy way to keep your VHD and WIM files patched just by downloading those updates from the catalog. And again, you can search the catalog or maybe each month you have an online image that you do a run Windows update and it will list all the KB articles that are available that month as Microsoft bulletins and just download them from the catalog, save them to the folder, then apply it to the VHD and the WIM. And it's really a, probably a five minute job each month when you're done. I hope that was useful. Um, thank you for your time.